If you're looking for a stacked GTA 5 or Red Dead Online account, look no further than Crispy Mods, link will be in the description, as well as they offer some great modding tools to help get you started. What's up guys, it's Jayco, and today we're going to be talking about the recent uproar in the GTA Online community, of that being the female protagonist potentially being in GTA 6, some of the leaks that we read over uh, about a week ago I think now, uh, stating that the female protagonist is probably going to be a thing in GTA 6, sort of a Bonnie and Clyde role, one male character and one female protagonist, both playable in uh, their own little ways. Now over the past few years, like I said in that video as well, we've been hearing this for, you know, five, four or five years now, so the more and more I hear about these Vice City and female protagonist roles and all this, it makes it more and more believable that it's an actual thing that's gonna happen. And I think a lot of people believe these female protagonist roles as well, and I think they are very, very believable, and I'm gonna talk about why I think it's really a good thing that we're finally gonna be getting a female protagonist, especially from Rockstar Games themselves, it's not a bad thing, and these people that are just being incredibly ignorant and immature about it, most of the negativity towards a female protagonist is mostly just pure ignorance and immaturity. These games are made for mature people, 17, 18 plus year olds, so really I don't think that's going to be a huge deal. And even regardless, are you really not going to buy GTA 6? Are you really not going to purchase it because of one female protagonist that could potentially be bad? No. No, you're absolutely not. Everyone that's saying shit about a female protagonist is still gonna buy GTA 6. Recently, Red Dead 2, Rockstar's newest game installment, back in 2018, four years ago now, they had a great female role in Sadie Adler. And they also had some good love interests for Arthur Morgan as the main character, as well with Mary Linton. If you've been looking for a GTA Online RP server, then look no further than Grand RP. They have truly one of the best open free servers on the market. Whether you're brand new or a veteran, go do yourself a favor and go down below in the description. Click that referral link and register now. So that's always one thing I've really kept in mind is that Rockstar has made some good female protagonists in the past, especially with Red Dead 2. And there's still so much we didn't figure out about some of these characters like originally before they scrapped it. Arthur Morgan was supposed to have uh, Mary Linton as a love interest and someone else and you were actually supposed to choose between the two women and whether or not who you wanted uh, Arthur to be with as a, in a romantic relationship. And Sadie Adler was a fantastic role, she was really badass. Personally, if I had the chance to play her as a main female protagonist role in some sort of Red Dead Online or Red Dead single player update or DLC, I totally would, though that's never gonna happen. If Sadie Adler got her own game, I would totally, totally play it, and I would love it just as many, many others would. One of the big arguments I keep hearing is that the GTA series hasn't been made on women characters, which is kind of ironic that the old western game that we got went back when females literally didn't have any rights actually kind of made that game great and, it, and her role in that game was great. She made that game better and how the story panned out and the Vanderlyn gang and stuff. It, she made that game much better, honestly, and it made it easier for the other characters to, you know, kind of live on and do their own thing. Now this isn't some crazy in-depth lore on CD Adler and every detail about her, but there has been fantastic female characters and Sadie Adler is a fantastic example of one and honestly the only concern I have is if we're going to be able to see enough of this new female protagonist if she ends up being good. Like I said, any character can be bad whether they're male or female doesn't really matter. And another thing I would really like to bring up is the fact that GTA 4 really had its main theme based around family and revenge in Nico Bellic. The reason he comes over to Liberty City is because he wants to take revenge on Darko, and one of the main, main ties of why he's able to do that is through his cousin Roman, which family is a major theme in that entire story and how it pans out, and the things, the choices he makes is really for family, or whether he wants the revenge or money, or whatever. As well as GTA 5 really has a main theme on robbery. And the only other time we've really had a family I should also bring up is with Michael DeSanta, a wife and kids, and though they almost become collateral in the one meltdown mission, they really don't. So I think having a really, really strong relationship between a male and a female character could really, really be cool in how the antagonists of the game take advantage of that or not. 
Sorry, I, I, I digress, but the, the major themes of GTA 4 and GTA 5 are robbery, family, you know, revenge, and that sort of thing. I think that with this new Bonnie and Clyde sort of thing that they're doing in GTA 6, I think we should get a good balance of both, where, you know, you really, really care about those other characters that are helping you and with you, whether they're protagonists or playable or not, that you, you really want to care and protect them. And what better to make these this relationship uh, inseparable is to, you know, just make it male, female, and they love each other, which is a fantastic idea. And hopefully, if the major themes of robbery and family come to play, maybe we're going to get a really cool, grounded story with some great, great robberies. Because in GTA 5, we all love doing the heists. We all love pulling off the cool robberies, the perfect crimes, you know, the casino heist, the KO Perico, and that sort of thing. We all love that. That's one of our favorite parts of the game. It's one of the best ways to make money in the game. And it's definitely the most fun, most challenging in some parts, and it's really, really fun to do it cooperatively as well. I'm not against solo heisting or solo mission playing. There's people like myself that like to do some of that stuff solo, but I think if we tied in the major themes of family and robbery and cooperative play, that robberies could just get even better even even better and with the family aspect at least for single player it could just really have some cool storytelling and you know what rockstar's gonna do a really good job i'm just gonna say it and even if we don't hate it we're all gonna buy it and enjoy it anyways even if the story's bad i know that there was probably already comments commenting that you know bunch of just random ignorant immature bullshit so um yeah that's probably a possibility probably didn't even watch the video when you did that but that's really really all i had to say is that i have faith in rockstar for making a great female protagonist as well as tying the themes of robbery and family and maybe some vengeance vengeance in there i think that'd be pretty cool and i think they're gonna make a great mix of both and i think they're gonna make a great female protagonist because they have in the past with sadie adler and you know that's really the, really the best example but there's probably some out there that i'm forgetting maybe some side characters or whatnot but that's just a great example and a recent example if that of a great female protagonist and whether or not you love or hate the protagonist of the story you know rocks are still going to go ahead and make the story anyway so if you see those immature or ignorant comments out there about her race or her ethnicity or the fact that she's a woman just ignore them they're, they're gonna go away at some point they've already mostly gone away the fact that there was an uproar at our uproar at all is still it's really surprising to me at least in 2022 i really don't think that kind of thing would ever happen especially with a rockstar game kind of blows my mind but that's all i really had to say let me know your thoughts down below please remember to drop a like and subscribe turn on post notifications and i'll see you guys in the next one peace